everybody and welcome to Servings Kitchen with a Cause, a show that's all about helping our community and today we're featuring United Way. So introduce yourselves. Thanks. Good morning. My name is Melanie Kagan. I am the Northwest Regional Director for United Way of Greater Atlanta. So that includes Cherokee, Cobb, Douglas, and Paulding County. So all right. I get a little bit of everything. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice big area. Nice big area. Good morning. My name is Terrence Corsi. I am the County Engagement Director for uh, Cherokee, Paulding, and Douglas County. And this is my boss. <laughs> you better be on your best behavior. Be she made me come here. Hey. We're going to have a good time. Now, one of the things we do at the beginning of the show is we let them in on what we're cooking because you guys have no idea what we're doing. No idea. No, no, no <laughs> clue. So what we have here is the beach towel of deception. Okay. <laughs> and we will reveal it because our ingredients are cloaked right now. So I will remove the towel uh -huh. and... We'll see if you guys can guess what we're cooking. All righty then. All right, okay. Chef. You ready? Come on. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. This looks like my kitchen. Is that protein? That's protein powder. Yeah, that's protein. You got white protein powder. Um, egg whites. Egg whites. Breakfast. Celery. Carrots. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you on, think? Don't, huh. don't say. Don't say the eggs. Don't say it. So it's not an omelet. No. Get peas. But milk. Milk. Hmm. Onion. A hot mess. I don't know. <laughs> now, I told them. I told them before yeah. we started filming, they're not going to be able to guess. I it. think the protein powder is totally throwing me off. You're making a cake. It's not a cake. A right? veggie cake. A veggie cake. A veggie, <laughs> veggie pie. I mean, there is carrot cake, right? That, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to add celery to it. Yeah, but we don't have the ingredients for that either. Yeah, bacon. You're making no. breakfast. Mustard. Quiche. Like a fri Quiche. a frittata. He nailed it. <gasps> Quiche. You are so yeah. good. Here's what Look it is. At you. Here's what it is. The first we're doing two recipes. Uh huh. And I can't believe he guessed that. This is I why I brought him. <laughs> I, have to, I have to admit, when I was in the military, I, I went to culinary art school for a little bit. And I get to take a break today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're cooking is United Whey Protein Quiche. <laughs> so this is a very healthy quiche for people who might work out, uh -huh. that yeah. kind of thing. We're also doing United Way Sabi Peas. <laughs> <laughs> you like what we did there? Oh, yeah. that is awesome. Like that. Yeah, I, I like do that. actually. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna start with the quiche and it's gonna make us more healthy. Okay. And we're also gonna find out about United Way. All right, we're gonna be cooking our first recipe, which is the United Way Protein Powder Quiche. I do too. Again, I'm blown away that you guessed we're doing quiche, so <laughs> nice job. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the crust, uh -huh. and the crust is actually chickpeas, the protein powder, whole wheat flour, and a little olive oil. We're gonna put all of that into the food processor and pulse it, get it nice and you know, mushy, yeah, mushy so we can mush it down in the pie uh, pan. Mm -hmm. So what we need first, we'll start with the protein powder. We need a quarter cup. Let's see if you can do math too. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put y'all to work. <laughs> can you do math? See if you can find the quarter cup. <laughs> are, you, are they labeled? Or you yes, they be. are on the, on the bottom, I believe. Yes. I'll give you a hint, it's the smaller <laughs> one. <laughs> That's a great hint. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Yeah. It's you know, <laughs> none of the ones you got yeah. out first. It's none of the ones you touch. <laughs> so just quarter cup, and you can go ahead and just throw it right in here. We'll get out of your way. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing with the whole wheat flour. So if you want to do the whole wheat flour, a quarter cup, yep. we'll do the tea it's berry the shuffle I, back the here. That's the one I have in my hand. That's the one you have. That's quarter cup of that. You are so bright. <laughs> I try. <laughs> That's why I'm your boss. He's sucking up See? to the boss. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. You're the bestest. You're the bestest. You're the bestest. Okay. And then we're going to put the whole uh, bowl of chickpeas okay. right in there. Okay. I like this. This is like being a manager. I'm yeah. just going to yeah. stand back here. You can just direct. And two tablespoons of olive oil. Let's see. Yeah, that, 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 I that, feel like that, this that, is going to be very squishy when yeah. it's all done. <laughs> I hope not. Now I've made hummus before, and this is, yeah, this is similar the start to, to minus the yeah, flour, right? Right. So yeah. it turned out okay. So now you know what everything. All means. right. Yeah, it's, it's coming back to me. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna get loud, ish. That's a great idea. And if idea. you would uh, spray spray our pie pan with that, 
I'm always looking for new recipes to hide healthy things for yeah. my children. Yeah. <laughs> We made rice last night. We made it out of cauliflower, but my daughter figured nice. it out and refused to try it. So. Look at that! It looks like dough. It's like a dough. Yeah, sure ball. Does. It's like dough. Look, and it even gets crazy. it all ready for you. Yeah, <laughs> that is crazy. Let's see if I can remember which way to do this. All right, That's so I'm just cool. gonna dump this down in there. All right, so we can use you got, you got your pretty nails, fingers you and the spatula, whatever you want to use to get that in there. You got it. Hope nail don't come off. It nails smells good not. too. It's like peanut butter. It yeah. does. It's what it feels like. It needs to be. Oof, yeah, there you go. Very you gotta wet. Get it's in there. Very sticky. Do you want to uh, put your hands in I the might flour? I want to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's got the exact consistency of dough. It does. That's surprising. Much healthier way to do this. The chickpeas have protein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the whey, whey powder, powder obviously <laughs> has protein. The egg whites have the protein. protein. Mm -hmm. So if you have a child who, who doesn't like, doesn't like meat, yeah. yeah, then uh, this is a great way to do this. We're I also going to be adding some turkey bacon. You can omit that if you don't want the turkey bacon. There are so a, many ways to change this recipe. I have a carb monster at home, so yes. this would be a perfect way. <laughs> I do too. That is looking fantastic. It is. You're I doing just, a great job, Billy. Yeah. Thank Billy. you. So, Thank you. I'm so impressed. Yes. <laughs> um, so up. what we're going to do is we're going to pre-cook this by itself uh -huh. uh, at 350 uh -huh. for about 15 minutes. Okay. Now, does it come out flaky like a regular quiche crust? Have you ever done this? We're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very curious no as to how this right. cooks I'm up a, because yeah. it feels... Like Just like dough, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, sure. Does. So I'm guessing it'll it'll firm up once we get it yeah. cooked for a little bit. That is such a great and that was so easy. This actually might be easier than regular dough. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. We can go by the store. All right. Does that that look looks okay? great. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna throw it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Believe it or not. Our crust looks amazing. Yes, it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. It does. It looks great. I mean, it's solid. It's kind of pulled away from the edges. It's not stuck. I mean, that's just amazing. <laughs> it didn't fall apart. No. Sure did. yeah, we're I'm good. very surprised. All right, so what we have to do is make our filling that's going to go in. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take care of that while you guys talk about how you got involved with the United Way. Okay. Perfect. Who wants to go first? Mm -hmm. first? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, okay. I go first. <laughs> right. okay. Uh, uh, you go first. Scissor, break, rock. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, how did I get involved with United Way? I actually got involved with United Way as a volunteer many, many years ago. I have a previous career in healthcare. Um, not from this area. We just actually re relocated to Georgia recently, but. I was a volunteer with United Way. I was a donor through mm -hmm. my workplace campaign, so I donated money to the causes that um, were listed, and we participated in all the cool events that they had, and I was a volunteer with their Young Professionals or Young Leaders Society that they mm -hmm. had, and I got to do some really great things. Um, we did a ton of really great events, but I remember more specifically we um, did a pack a at a food bank once that I loved, and I got to help a bunch of high school kids with resume writing, uh -huh. which was just kind of eye-opening when you talk to kids who have never had anyone sit down and work with them on that. So right. it was just, those were cool experiences, um, and I was uh, in my... Gosh, I was in my late 20s, early 30s. I was a single mom with two kids, and I hated my job. <laughs> um, I, was, I just wasn't very happy with it, and so I wanted to make a change, and United Way had an opening, and since I had volunteered with them, I thought that, of course, I could just do the job, and I really didn't have any idea what that meant. Right. <laughs> I just wanted to work for them. And so sounded good. It sounded good. I convinced them through my interview that I could actually do the job that I didn't know what that really entailed, but they trusted me, and so I was hired on as a development officer, which is similar to what Terrence does now, mm -hmm. and I ran corporate campaigns and um, did all kinds of different events, and mostly fundraising, but a lot of community engagement and knowing what was happening in our community and connecting with other agencies and connecting with other nonprofits, and um, 
I ran public policy. I did all kinds of things. And then mm -hmm. I moved out of that position into, an, into a different organization. And then when I was relocating to Georgia, they had an opening with United Way. And I was so excited to get back into the network. It's such a powerful um, brand. Mm -hmm. And they do such incredible things in their communities that I just knew that this would be no exception. And um, mm -hmm. Atlanta is actually the second largest, or greater Atlanta is the second largest United Way in the country. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Learn something new every day about your job. Yeah. So um, I was thrilled when they had this position open, and it's been great so far. It's kind of out where I live because we're in the northwest region. I've gotten to know the counties very quickly um, mm -hmm. in being new to the area, and so it's been a great, great journey for me so awesome. far. Awesome. Oh, great. Thanks. That's fantastic. Wow. Your turn. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. I just needed a job. <laughs> they were hiring, you know, <laughs> and they were willing to take you. Yeah. Me. Um, I came with United Way as a loan in the loan executive program. Uh, that's like a temporary where they hire uh, people from on the outside or to get uh, people from different companies. And so I came in 2016, mm -hmm. and so I walked in. I said, "Hey, I'm not leaving until you until y'all hire me." Okay. <laughs> and, and Someone listened. <laughs> somebody listened. He threatened them. Yeah, he threatened them. And so um, uh, I came on as loan, loan executive and. My position was already open, and so when I walked in, I came out of the train and I actually walked into my position oh, cool. um, as a loan executive. I mean, as a county engagement director, uh -huh. and uh, I've been, roll been rolling ever since. I like United Way. Actually, I love United Way because uh, being a, a, a Army veteran, uh -huh. I was, uh, you know, I miss, you know, fighting for my country. And mm -hmm. so I always tell people all the time, so you know what, y'all give me a reason to fight for fight for those who can't fight for themselves. So I, I enjoy getting out here, raising money, um, helping people. Um, and making sure they get what they need, and so that's why we united away. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, you're fighting for those people who can't, can't fight for themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best way. Now, uh, I know United Way collects money. That you know they're 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 pulling in the money. How does it get dispersed, and where does it go? That's a good question. <laughs> Yeah, we just let him raise the money. We don't let him touch it <laughs> after that. Um, I am the person not allowed to touch money. it. I don't touch <laughs> it. Yeah, he doesn't touch it. Um, so United Way has different arms of its investment process. So not only are we raising money from um, corporations and individuals and different organizations, we apply for grants, and so we also receive some grant money. Um, we have programs that we run ourselves. So we have initiatives and programs that are United Way driven okay. and United Way led. So we do have funding that funnels into those areas. Areas. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have uh, what we call our investment process. So our investment process is that larger scale grant process, which mm -hmm. most of the funds get distributed out of. Um, that process happens about this time every year. So we just opened it up for applications. So the okay. agencies have just started to submit their letters of request. Um, and then the full application process will open up next month after the, those are whittled down to who qualifies. Okay. Um, once they apply, they actually, those the applications are reviewed by volunteers. Mm -hmm. So it's not United Way sitting around okay. and making the decisions. We set the parameters around what the priorities are mm -hmm. based on the information we have. We have a ton of data. We know the community very well. We work with so many different partners mm -hmm. in the area. Um, right now, our focus is child well-being. So the mm -hmm. United Way of Greater Atlanta has changed their focus um, to child well-being. How are the children in the community doing? How right. can we make improvements that impact those kids specifically? Because mm -hmm. you know, job growth is great, new companies are great, having low unemployment is really great. Um, but if you have a whole subset of your population who live here and mm -hmm. are growing up here and they're not doing well, then we have a problem. So that's sort of your barometer. That is mm -hmm. our barometer. Yeah. So exactly right. that's how we focus on uh, the needs in each of our different areas. And as you can imagine, each county has a little bit of a different look right, to it. Right. Um, so online, we have these great heat maps where you can actually break down by zip code and see mm -hmm. what the categories are and what the scores are for mm -hmm. each one of those indicators. Um, and then from that, that's how we decide what the investment process will look like. So we have some very specific scorecards and indicators. We ask for very specific data. We ask uh, the agencies to be very specific and detailed about the programs that they're asking for us to fund mm -hmm. in terms of how they impact that child well-being indicator and what is happening in the community. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to just keep giving money out and not have right. a way to say that we're actually making a difference. Right. So that's one of our biggest pieces is being able to show results. Mm -hmm. um, so the investment process, we take volunteers, um, hundreds of volunteers, yeah. and they all get about five or six applications. They review the applications, um, they submit a scoring card for it, and then we have a grant sort of process where everybody gets to 
bargain fight champion for right. their cause and uh -huh. which ones they think should get funded and how they should be funded. So we give them the parameters of what funding is available, what the mm -hmm. dollars look like, what it would be if they were partially funded, you know, mm -hmm. here's at 50, here's at 75%, whatever that looks like. And then they do sort of this grand negotiation right. um, in all the panels um, guided by our staff and some of the leads in our in our community investment council so okay. it's actually distributed by the community that's awesome um, and it comes back to the areas that are doing the most good that mm -hmm. are able to show their work in a very meaningful way mm -hmm. um, that service a lot of our different areas and especially those high need areas mm -hmm. so the areas that um, are low on resources and have some significant you know we call them the red opportunity zones because mm -hmm. on our maps they're red <laughs> uh -huh. um, but that's that's how we get the money back to the counties okay uh, so and, and this sounds yeah. like, you know, it, for those people who <laughs> donate money, the United Way has gone through that process of vetting these various organizations mm -hmm. yeah. and you know who really needs it, who mm -hmm. will do the best job with it. Mm -hmm. right. You don't have to worry about donating to a specific organization that might go out of business, might not have it best interest at heart right. that kind of thing so mm -hmm. it's a it's a safe way to give money right it is it's a great way to give money and it's actually the the best way to make the most impact okay. um, because we all have par charities that we love and we're right. not opposed to people designating right. gifts or helping and supporting and giving their time to certain organizations but in the grand scheme of things when you're collecting money from all the various people that we work with and companies mm -hmm. you know we have over we have about 90,000 donors that mm -hmm. at any one given point are either volunteers or donors with us throughout the year and so with all of that collective input from everybody their dollars and and their expertise you can spread your money across mm -hmm. over 200 agencies right. that we fund through our grant process so you're actually helping to impact all the areas that really impact child well-being and are doing the most good in our community without having to give a dollar to 200 different right, organizations right. yourself <laughs> um, or to go do all the research to figure out right, whatever he's doing right. we do that for you and so we have all of that information available and um, we're very, very in tune with what's going on in our community. That's awesome. Sounds like a win-win. Oh, you are very smart. Oh my God. <laughs> I know your stuff. <laughs> and speaking of winning, <laughs> we are winning with this quiche. This looks we are. delicious. All right, so what I did was I added two and a half cups of egg whites, mm -hmm. a cup of milk. Mm -hmm. uh, I added fresh spinach. Now, I had some frozen spinach out here for you guys to see but I remembered I had fresh spinach, so fresh is why always not better. go fresh. Yeah. And then we put in the bacon and just a little bit of salt. So if you guys want, let's uh -huh. pour it in here. Right in <laughs> no nope. pressure. Here's. There's a lot of protein in this. Yeah, man. We'll see if we can fit it all in here. Look at him, he's so fancy. Just to yes. reduce the splashing. Just to it. reduce the splashing. Uh. Yeah, there you go. So. Like our investment pool. Reduce the splashing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Gosh, that looks so good. Man. Yes, it does. We nailed it. Winner. See? Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I really am curious about this crust. It looks so perfect. Yeah. Now yes. I just really want it to taste <laughs> that perfect. But yeah. Phase one went <laughs> yeah. well. Woo. This two. is phase two. We're going to put it back into the oven for... 40 minutes on 350. Okay. And when we come back, we're gonna start our United Way Sabi Peas. <laughs> Perfect. We'll be right back. Our quiche is cooking in the oven right now. We've got about 30 more minutes. That gives us plenty of time to make our wasabi peas and enjoy them while we're waiting for the quiche to come out. I'll eat them, he won't. <laughs> I'm gonna make you try More for it. us. He has to try them. Oh, come on now. <laughs> now what I did was, if you can't find dried uh, peas, mm -hmm. you can just get frozen. I, I heated them up in the microwave to almost cook them, put them on a cookie sheet with aluminum foil, and rolled them around in a little bit of olive oil. Put them in the oven on 200 for about four hours. So slowly. now you can see they're nice and dried and and crunchy. Mm. We're so we're we're snacking. Snacking. No, we're not yeah. done with them yet. We have now, to make them first. You can turn the heat down a little bit and cook it longer. They won't shrink up as much. Mm -hmm. So, but if you want to do them a little quicker, you know there are ways to do it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the uh, the coating that's going to go on the peas, which is a wasabi base. 
Um, and because we have some uh, pallets that may not be uh, <laughs> ready for the heat, uh, we'll probably cut down the wasabi a little bit. Um, and we don't, the, the recipe calls for three cups of dried peas. This is only about a cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, recipe and cut it down a little bit. So let's start with three tablespoons of olive oil. So we just do one. One tablespoon of olive oil, and I'll grab the olive oil since I put it away. Oh, that's vinegar. That was a, oh, that vinegar. That was a test. <laughs> I was gonna say. Let's see if you knew. After the olive oil, got it. Come on, man. we can add a just a little bit of onion salt, which will wind no, up being one. onion powder. No, extra, just, it's extra, hold on. One. <laughs> it's extra. <laughs> Listen. I'm you glad you're watching him. Yeah. You know, you're not That's why I'm you, here. Keep an eye on him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we have extra. Not real it's sure. Not extra. It's, it's extra. a recipe. No, it's not. Let me see. Just a little. Just a little bit of the onion powder. Two a little bit of the garlic powder. Not extra. Just that's, a little. That's extra. extra. <laughs> you gotta have extra. About uh, a some salt. teaspoon. A pinch. Of tahini. Yeah. Throw some salt in there. Pinch of salt. Maybe a little more than that. So not following directions. He's there just doing you go. whatever he wants. This is what I do. Yeah, and, you know, all this is long. all subjective. I mean, <laughs> you can you can add or take away. Not a big deal. So now what I learned is that this is nothing but sesame seeds. Correct? Yeah, ground sesame seeds. So weird. I did it's not like know maybe, that like that's what food. it was. It's like we were talking it's about like almond food. milk earlier. This <laughs> is yeah. sesame seed milk. Sesame mm -hmm. seed milk. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. See? Put that in your yeah. shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> Go see if you can milk sesame seeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bleed if you want to. Looks like baby food. We're going to put about <laughs> the <laughs> same amount of rice wine vinegar okay. in there. Now, this is a very strong combination of ingredients. Yeah. But this is a <laughs> snack. You know, we're going to, you know, it's just going to be a, a little bit of, yeah. of peas at a time. Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. Yeah, so All right. Good. You see that we want to do about half of that with the Dijon mustard. So you can use this one. The good thing about this type of cooking is it's not like baking. Baking, you got to be really specific with your amounts. <laughs> this is kind of, you know, yeah, that's kind of nice. Whatever. That's good because. There you go. Now the wasabi. The important part. Okay, I'm We're terrified gonna, of you let's, being let's in charge figure of this. Out <laughs> I don't know why. How hot do we want this? Here we Let can me see this. I'm not sure why. I feel like you now, need to be very careful. Now it calls for. Let's figure this out. It calls for a quarter cup. A now quarter that's a cup? lot. A quarter cup. Yes. That is wasabi. a lot. That is a lot of wasabi. So what we should do probably uh, a third of that which would be a, a third of a quarter cup. I have no idea how much that is. A couple of tablespoons, but I think, But yeah, right? so maybe like a tablespoon. Start with that. Yeah. A quarter cup, but that's, that's, that's lot, like man. almost that whole bottle. I know, right? yeah, I know. Yeah. Somebody, this stuff, this I, I think this uh, it's probably a joke. This stuff here They're setting seven. us up. Check it out. That's all gonna pour right oh, out, God, watch. Stop Come it, on. stop it. Come on, pour it out there. <laughs> He's getting in trouble up. again. All day long. Yes. <laughs> All day. Come on. See? It's like comedic relief in our office. <laughs> At meetings, whatever. Um, don't be a hater. We can see Come who the now. brains is behind this. Yes, me. <laughs> brains and beauty. Look brains, at that. Me. Brains and beauty and brawn. Me? Let me see. Okay, you ready? Yeah. That looks That's all fantastic. We're gonna put on for can, now, yeah. For now, we'll we can put more we'll in. We'll see. Let's mix it first. All right. So and then somebody has to try it to make sure we don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a vote. Yeah, who's gonna? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> don't talk about hot hot sauce at the house. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk about hot sauce. Wasabi, wasabi peas. I said my son. All right, yeah. I'm gonna pour yeah. them in. Damn. Here we go. All right, mix them up. It smells so pretty good. Once they're coated, are you supposed to dry well, gonna, them, bake them? We're gonna put them back on the cookie sheet okay. and cook them for about Just, 10 more minutes. Okay. And it'll sort of dry out the You wanna try it? Where's the dog? dog is it? We can try. You cannot give them to the dogs. <laughs> That's mean. That's not mean. That is mean. Is mean. Now, 
This is just by happenstance since we're cooking the other recipe. We this is where we cook the bacon. Uh huh. Oh, so we're gonna have bacon. So we got a little piece? bit of bacon, bacon grease <laughs> on there. All right. There you go. We're not messing around. I didn't yeah, know well, turkey. it is the south. You Come gotta on. have bacon grease. Bacon grease. I didn't know turkey turkey bacon had bacon grease, but I think this is the first one. New one for me. Turkey bacon grease. <laughs> turkey bacon grease. A slightly healthier than regular. Uh, it's not wrong. I'm gonna make you lick the fork. It is not wrong with the pig. <laughs> Let me get a spatula so we can get it. push that all out. You got it? He's gonna get a spatula. Okay. You wanna, yeah. I'll put you in charge of that. Yeah, you flatten him out. Get him nice, nice and spread out. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? You gotta get it right. <laughs> we need a single layer. Yeah, you've gotta spread oh, him out. Strong. It's because it's wasabi. Jesus. You wanna eat this? I will. I want to eat them. I want to try them. Here. Homemade ones have got to be better than store bought, hmm. right? Here you go. Exactly. Stop. Right. Not we're we're going to pretend they are anyway. Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> we won't even tell you guys nope, if it's. You'll never know. <laughs> we're, we're actors. They're delicious. That looks fantastic. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All righty then. Wasabi and turkey bacon. Let's try it. Yes. So we're going to set these back in the oven for about right, 10 taste. minutes. Yeah, taste. Well, they're good. I could have had more wasabi, I bet. Really? Well, we yeah. can sprinkle some more on there yeah, once they get out. The top. Here you go. Add some. All right, we're going to let those cook for 10 minutes. When we come back, we'll have everything ready to try. Y'all got to get, y'all getting this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Cut. We don't feed, we don't feed here in the office. <laughs> We got our food out of the oven, the wasabi peas. We added a little more wasabi powder to it because yeah. I mean the recipe, yeah, the recipe must have been right. And this, <laughs> He's just, going for more. Yeah, this one hot enough. Yeah. We took you know. the salt away from him, so now he has <laughs> There's to nothing use wrong the with wasabi. salt. We need some butter. <laughs> well, we've been munching on the peas and we were actually scared we were gonna eat them all before yeah. the quiche came out. <laughs> So every, everything's ready, our United Whey Protein Quiche. It's beautiful. And our United Whey Sabi Peas. <laughs> Before we taste the quiche, we've tasted the peas a lot, uh, <laughs> why don't you guys tell me about a big event you got coming up? Sure, absolutely. Um, so Douglas County has a signature event for United Way. It is the, it's got a very long title. It is the <laughs> Douglas County National Day of Prayer, United Way Shoebox Breakfast. Nice. Long title. Yeah, very long title. Um, but a great event. So it is a breakfast that we hold on the National Day of Prayer, and it uh -huh. is to celebrate our community and to bring together all different walks in faith and life mm -hmm. um, to celebrate the power of prayer and what it does in our community and how we all serve and give back to our community. Mm -hmm. um, it's also a collection site for our shoebox project. So okay. every spring, United Way across Greater Atlanta does a shoebox project. Um, we collect shoeboxes from various organizations, companies. We have mm -hmm. pop-up events where people can come make them. Um, and they are to be distributed to homeless women, children, and families. Okay. They hold all the essentials that people might need. So things that we don't really mm -hmm. think about when we're giving donations. Right. Um, you know, toilet paper, mm -hmm. um, face cloths to mm -hmm. wash your face, um, shampoo, conditioner, Sh deodorant. Anything you could imagine. Teeth, yeah, toothbrush, yeah, toothbrush, toothbrush toothpaste. toothpaste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things like that, just to give somebody a little bit of Something this, this that's there. Basic, right. basic United, needs, right. yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, I can't, first of all, I couldn't yeah. imagine dealing with some of the things that those mm -hmm. people have to deal with. But if we can do anything, you know, getting people to be able to wake up and wash a their face yeah. and brush their teeth Just and feel a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what the breakfast also does. So it, we sell tickets, we sell tables, we get sponsors for the mm -hmm. breakfast. It's we beautiful. We have a mm -hmm. keynote speaker this year. Do you want to yeah. talk about our keynote our speaker? Our keynote speaker is, uh, listen to me now. <laughs> our keynote speaker is, is um, Palmer Williams Jr. He plays Floyd on Tyler Perry's show, um, Love Thy Neighbor. All right. And he's also uh, he's a comedian. He sings as well. He's, he's multi-talented. Multi-talented. Sung for yeah. LSG. And, I mean, um, yeah. LSG, and I think it was uh, Keith Sweat and some other people he sung for. It's got so. a pretty impressive bio. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's going to be entertaining, it to will, say the least. Yeah. Yeah. It will be entertaining and um, provide a lot of information and inspiration mm -hmm. for and people. And when is this? This is going to be uh, May 3rd. May 3rd. May 3rd at 7.30. And where? 
at the Douglas County or Douglasville Convention Center. Okay, Conference so Center. right downtown. In the ballroom, yeah. right downtown. Be there, um, be square. Yeah. The website is not up it. quite yet, but we are doing the save the date, so okay. May 3rd, and then we'll get the website up. You can purchase tickets on there. You can do sponsorships on there. Okay. But if you need information, you can contact us in the Douglas County yeah. office, and all of our information is online. It'll be a great event, too. So. Yeah. It is a great event, and um, this is our fifth annual, so we've been doing it for several years here mm -hmm. in the county. We've got great partnerships with the school system, and uh -huh. um, Greystone Power has yeah. been They're very heavily involved and very supportive. Yeah, very supportive. So we're lucky that we have a lot of great folks in the community that make yeah. it possible. Yeah, so we're yeah. shooting for 400 it's this year. That's our um, awesome. Our that's our max for the. And, and I've been so. there before, yeah. and it is packed out, and the shoe boxes are just stacked up. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to be a part of this, make sure you get involved. Go yeah. to the website and uh, see how, how you need to get involved. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being yeah. here. And now the moment I always wait for, you know, we got to taste what we've cooked. Yes, indeed. I miss breakfast, so I'm hungry. <laughs> now, I'm not I'm... great at cutting pies or quiches, so I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to turn it over. The blade is on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's why I keep you around. Yeah, well, I can help. The guests got to keep me straight. <laughs> All right, and and one of the things we were curious about is this crust, but it looks like it's holding up. Indeed. It, wow. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Nice and steamy. I'll just pass that down. So hot. We got an orange juice? Anything? We do. <laughs> yeah, we're having breakfast. Yeah, Speaking of, <laughs> of day of prayer breakfast, yes, we're indeed. doing our breakfast in here. Yes, indeed. But of course, quiche could be at any time. Yeah. And this is, this is a like savory protein, protein pack, yeah. Very healthy. That's so good. I've got to try this crust. I'm so curious. Yeah, yeah. this looks good. I'll try that by itself. It feels like crust. Looks like crust. <laughs> what does it taste like? Survey says. Oh, that's good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That good. reminds me of a army tea ration. <laughs> the eggs when we were in the field. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Oh, it's good. Look, okay. <laughs> when you're in the field, everything's good. Mm -hmm. MRE. I think it's good. That is amazing, that, that crust. Right? Mm -hmm. How it holds together and it. Yeah, it's perfect. It yeah. tastes similar to just a crust. regular crust. It's like a whole wheat crust. All you need is some, uh, some orange juice or some wine. I'm telling you, this is on point. Wine. Check that out right there. Look at that. This is good. It cooked a little bit longer than what the recipe said. It said 40 minutes. We went about 55 yeah, egg uh, to an hour. Yeah, the egg whites take, took a little bit longer. I think it probably would have solidified a little quicker if we would have had yolks involved in the, mm -hmm. in the mix. But that looks great, Gorgeous. tastes great. The peas turned out great. I like them. I mean, I think this is a success. Win. It's really good. It's yeah. really good. Thank you so much for being on the show. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. We will see you next time. Remember, the serving's kitchen with a cause. Get involved. That's what it's all about. And now time to finish the quiche. Yeah.